But I, what I hadn't realized uh, is that when you get Canadian citizenship, just like the Australian one, uh, you have to swear an oath to the Queen of England. And you walk in and they give you a piece of paper and the piece of paper says, um, I swear an oath to the Queen and all her heirs. Except that in a room full of people who speak English as a second language, heirs looks very much like hairs. <laughs> so this is a poem about being illegal and swearing an oath to the Queen and her hairs. <laughs> Today is my day. Today is my day, you see, today is my day, I'll become one of you, I'll become one of you, passported like one of you, legal, 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 like one of you, and today, today is my day, I'll become like one of you, and all I have to do is put my hand up and swear an oath to the queen and all her mighty, mighty hairs. I'm not sure which hairs exactly. <laughs> this is not the time to ask that question. This is not the time to speak about British colonialism. This is not the time to speak about how much Queenie owns. This is the time to put on my brightest smile and swear an oath to the Queen and all her mighty, mighty hairs. And I swear if they asked me to marry Charles today, I would. Because <laughs> today is my day. Today is my day to become one of you, legal, 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 passported, like one of you. And he didn't even look up at me. He didn't even look up at me. He didn't even look up at me, sheltered behind a grey desk, a wide smile. He didn't even look up at me. He didn't ask my name. He didn't inspect a picture to match a face or an age He didn't ask how long or where I would stay Or the reason for my visit He didn't even look up at me He didn't send me to the back of the line Or into a small room That small room in the back of airports that you never see He didn't stand me naked, alone for seconds Then rubber gloves to feel skin seek evidence for something I have never understood. What, what do immigration officers think we hide under our skin? And for a second, to be honest with you, for a second I wanted to stand my ground. I wanted to explain his mistake. Explain that there are questions to question, that there's machinery, there's machinery. There's always, always, always new machinery that they need to test. Machinery that scans our retinas shell-shocked Machinery that deciphers disfigured skeletons bent in the zigzag of visa lines Machinery, machinery that can biometric my fingertips and find my grandmother hiding under the rubble Machinery, machinery that can tell you I'm not here to take your job, I promise you I'm not here to take your job Machinery that can tell you that even if I get a job I'm never going to ask for minimum wage I'm never going to ask for minimum wage Machinery, machinery that can scan our retinas shell-shocked and biometric our fingertips to tell you our history hiding in boats across the Mediterranean drowning in boats across the Mediterranean but he didn't even look up at me you see nothing changed between July 12th and July 13th absolutely nothing nothing changed between July 12th and July 13th my illegal skin my illegal bones they still carry the same illegal me I just put my hands up and swore an oath to the Queen and all her mighty mighty hairs Thank you. Thank you so much.